look, you're in debt and now you don't know how to get out of it. That's completely understandable. You probably made the mistake of using your credit cards too much or taking on unplanned personal loans. Let me help you with that because in today's video, I'm going to talk about some debt payment strategies that you might find helpful. My name is Munif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making videos to share my life experiences so that I could teach other people how to become successful in life and in business. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video and share it with people who might find this content useful. First, you need to acknowledge your situation. I know that it's easy to get discouraged when you have a pile of debt that you need to settle. But remember, every time you pay, you're making a positive debt. You're doing the right thing and you're slowly making progress. So don't lose hope. You need to face these responsibilities or your story of becoming a millennial millionaire won't happen. The most crucial step to take right now is to rank all of your debts. By prioritizing your important debts, it's easier to distribute your money to pay for those debts. You have to separate them into two categories. One is for the most important debts. The second is for the most harmful debts. People often think the priority is to pay whichever has the highest interest rate. But that's not always the case because your budget and needs are different from everyone else's. That's why it's important to look at your own debts and rank them accordingly. When you have a debt that can make drastic changes in your life when you miss or don't pay them, then the debt should be included in your most important list. These debts include things like mortgages, rent, home equity loans, uh, debts that can make you lose your house, your electricity, your brand new car that you just got. Miss one of these and you're going to suffer the consequences significantly. It's going to affect your quality of life and it's going to affect your living standards right away. The middle priority debts are the ones that won't affect your everyday life, but will still inflict a huge impact, such as student loans or insurances. And the lowest priority on your list of debts should be high interest rates, such as credit cards. That's actually the reason why credit cards have high interest rates, because they know for a fact that they can't affect your life significantly and they're unsecured other than impose you to pay late fees and interest rates. But still, you shouldn't miss any payments if possible. But if you have a choice to choose between credit card debt or rent or losing your home, I know which one we would all pick. So you wanna make sure that you pay for the life altering ones right away. In finance, I know the debts that will affect your financial health the most tend to be high interest rates. However, there's a lot more to this. These usually include purchasing items through installments or consumables or services. If you're hoping to have a life of a millionaire, then these are the debts that you should focus on to pay first. They don't make you lose a home or a car or cut off water. Nevertheless, these debts will set you back in your goal to become financially free. If these are the debts you wanna get rid of first, rank them from the highest interest rate to the lowest interest rate, regardless of the amount you owe. Work slowly on paying the highest ones first until you can settle the ones with the lower interest rates. As much as possible, pay the minimum amount for the lesser ones to at least protect your credit score. This part is vital and important. Hey, let's take a quick break. I got some exciting news for you. I want you to go ahead and hit the link down below and sign up for my free ebook. Now, I give you a ton of value. I don't ask for anything in return. It's just to educate as many people as possible on the strategies that one should use to build wealth. There's plenty of different ways to build wealth, but I cover the basics in this free ebook and I'm not gonna upsell you anything. I'm actually not selling you anything at all. Just want you to become more knowledgeable. And also look, if you like the type of content that I give you, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button and let me and the algorithm know that this video is valuable to you and I'll continue to make content like this each and every single week and also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so as soon as I come out with a new video you're informed aside from ranking your debts by importance or harm you can also check the following criteria on your finances such as your tax situation and your credit score if most of your debts have a built-in tax break such as student loans and mortgages then it's best to pay them later since you want to take advantage of the deductions so that you can benefit from lowering your tax bill. And if you're mindful of your credit score, you should know that the order of your credit payment impacts your score since it's connected to your credit mix. And your credit mix is one of those five factors that affect your overall credit score. It represents all of the credit that you have from the credit cards to the student loans. And it shows how you have managed each one of these credits. Lenders and creditors 
like to see the portfolio of various credit. And this signifies that you are a responsible payer and that you know how to manage your bills. That shows a good impression to creditors and that will give you a better opportunity to apply for low interest rate loans and live in the house of your dreams later, if not now. So that's my brief discussion of payment strategies. Remember, rank your debts first, separate them by importance or potential harm to your credit health. You can use whatever method works best for you and maybe you could try a combination of a little bit of everything. Just remember, what's important is that you get to pay your debts and improve your overall financial health. And if you have particular strategies in mind that you think others can use, please go ahead and comment down below. And remember to subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and everything else for that matter at Mr. Munif. If you have any other particular strategies that you think other people could use, go ahead and comment down below. If you want to learn more about credit scores, check out this video where I go in depth into how to increase your credit score next.